superhydrophobic surface that can stay dry underwater for up to several months. Scientists from several institutions, inspired by a certain species of spider that spends its entire life underwater, have developed an innovative material with surprising hydrophobic properties. This material remains dry when immersed in water, even after spending several months there. What works in nature will certainly also find applications in human activity. Drawing inspiration from a water-dwelling spider, scientists from the Harvard John A. Paulson School of Engineering and Applied Sciences, the Wyss Institute for Biologically Inspired Engineering, Friedrich Alexander Universität Erlangen Nuremberg in Germany and Aalto University in Finland have developed a surface that has amazing hydrophobic properties. It can stay dry underwater for up to several months. Moreover, the technology for making this type of surface, according to engineers, is relatively simple, is scalable and has a wide range of practical applications. The results and description of the research were published in the journal, Nature Materials. Scientists were inspired by the spider Argironeta aquatica, or the spider monkey. This small creature reaches 15 millimeters in length. Although it does not differ much in structure or physiology from its cousins and breathes atmospheric air, it spends its entire life underwater. How does he do it? This species has millions of rough, waterproof hairs that trap air bubbles around its abdomen where the lung tracheas are located, thus creating something like an oxygen tank that provides a supply of breathing air and a barrier between the water and the lung tracheas. When the stock becomes scarce, it puts the end of its abdomen and the spinnerets above the water surface and creates a net between its hind legs. Then it returns under the water and, together with the spider's web, absorbs the air, which forms a thin layer on its body. This thin layer is called the plastron. Scientists from all over the world have been trying to recreate it and use its protective effect for years. This can lead to superhydrophobic surfaces that can prevent corrosion, bacterial growth, adhesion of marine organisms, chemical contamination, and other harmful effects of liquids on various materials. However, plastrons developed so far have proven to be unstable underwater, keeping surfaces dry for only a few hours. Scientists have known for years that it is theoretically possible to build a stable plastron, but until now they have not been able to demonstrate it experimentally. Until now, a team led by scientists from Harvard managed to create a plastron that can survive underwater for many months. Research into materials inspired by nature is an extremely exciting area that continues to introduce elegant solutions to the world of man-made materials, allowing us to create new materials with previously unseen properties, said Joanna Eisenberg from the John A. Paulson School of Engineering and Applied Sciences, co-author of the publication. One of the biggest problems with plastrons is that they need a rough surface, 
such as Italian tops, to form. However, this roughness makes the surface mechanically unstable and susceptible to any even slight temperature and pressure disturbances or minor defects. Scientists have determined that when creating hydrophobic materials, data should be taken into account not only on the stability of the plastron under water, but also on surface roughness, hydrophobic properties of molecules on the surface, its coverage by the plastron, and many others. This allowed scientists to predict how the plastron would behave underwater. This allowed the development of a relatively simple technique for producing such materials. Researchers created an aerophilic surface, i.e. one that attracts air or gas bubbles, from a commonly used and inexpensive titanium alloy. They managed to create a stable plastron on it that kept the surface dry for thousands of hours longer than in previous experiments and even longer than the plastrons of some animals. We used a characterization method that theorists suggested 20 years ago to prove that our surface is stable. Which means that not only have we created a new type of extremely repellent, extremely durable superhydrophobic surface, but we can also develop a path to making a superhydrophobic surface from other materials, said Alexander B. Tesla, former research fellow at the John A. Paulson School of Engineering and Applied Sciences and now at the Wyss Institute, and lead author of the paper. To check the stability of the surface, researchers bent it, twisted it, poured hot and cold water on it, and rubbed it. The surface retained its properties. They immersed it in water for over 208 days, at the time the study was published. The plastron was still submerged and showed no signs of degradation. No clams or barnacles stuck to it. What's more, they put her in petri dishes full of blood. The surface was able to significantly reduce the growth of E. coli bacteria. The stability, simplicity and scalability of this system make it widely applicable in the real world, said Stefan Koller, co-author of the article. With the approach presented here, we demonstrate a simple toolkit that can optimize a superhydrophobic surface to achieve stability, which radically changes the application space, he added.